Hi, I'm Esther Sabo. Thank you for inviting me to international paneling. I um, I'm actually not exactly Esther Sabo. I'm a painting mounted on a 3D object in a program called Spark I AR. Um, I am going to read three questions that I have been asked. The first question. Hi Esther, can you tell us a little bit about where you are from, your art, background, etc. My works are mostly non-narrative conceptual videos that are animated versions of uh, my paintings. Uh, I create drawings, oil paintings uh, and also aquarels uh, and I work uh, equally with 2D and 3D animations. Um, I'm researching manifestations of social processes. I'm interested in confronting the aesthetics of the status quo with vulnerability and uh, wariness of everyday life. So I create fictional characters composed from uh, the most familiar uh, and ordinary uh, elements uh, of different characters that I observe on the street. Uh, in my recent works, I explore notions of domestication, compliance, inertia, and invisibility. The youth doesn't appreciate tecton tectonic, electronic, tectonic, tectonic. Anymore. The second question. You have recently won the Leopold Bloom Art Award and you have been a runner-up several times. Can you tell us about the Bloom Award and that experience? Uh, this award is given every two years. So um, I created a video installation for this year's uh, um, nomination and, uh, and this is a five channel video uh, where I installed in the space uh, five different TVs of various sizes. This is a 3D video and I used uh, my own painting as a texture for it. Uh, this painting is a collage in which uh, I used uh, a Lukas Kranach painting of Anna Kuspinian uh, and I was uh, interested in this painting, in this uh, face because uh, it has, uh, Anna has a very angry and bored expression on her face and I could really connect that face with a lot of other faces that I see today when I commute around uh, in the city, so this painting became to be a kind of contemporized version of this uh, Kranach painting. And uh, this I used as a texture uh, for my uh, 3D character that uh, I created in uh, Cinema 4D. And I was um, uh, uh, actually inspired by, uh, by a story of, of Ali Moshoni. Uh, it's a children's poem about uh, uh, a girl who is called Princess Beauty and she holds two tulips in her hands and these flowers are whispering all kinds of uh, disciplinary orders to her ear so they are trying to groom her or tame her somehow and the whole project is about this, uh, uh, this conflict between somebody's own agency and the, the, all these constraints, mental and physical constraints that are, uh, that are coming uh, towards uh, them. And um, uh, the way I created the, the animation was that I made her own um, body move in a very simple way. She's just sitting around and trying to be herself, trying to survive. She's sometimes making faces and uh, and uh, she's just uh, sitting there. And then there is the force of these tulips that uh, uh, that became different forces that I, I created, that I'm showing through 
simulations and um, and the, the these simulations together with the with the animation uh, created all kinds of different glitches and I was working with these uh, glitches so the third question is um, what do you feel is important about the intersection of digital and non-digital work and what are you working on now uh, I think that uh, uh, in my works uh, the the intersection of digital and non-digital uh, plays a very important role I always start with drawing and painting because that's the most um, uh, straightforward way of, uh, of uh, expression for me And then uh, the way of getting into the details and uh, and um, forming my ideas, they always come by movement and uh, sound, and um, so that's why I'm I'm continuing my work always digitally. And currently, I'm working on a on a character who has frills ruffles and she's kind of attacked by her ruffles uh, it's also a 3d simulation work uh, but it's it's not ready yet so uh, and i'm also planning to continue my work with this program this augmented reality program because i'm i'm really interested in uh, in this um, um, technique so you can find more info about my work uh, on my website and uh, thank you again for inviting me.